Hi guys, someone had asked me a question about how I wash my hair and what kind of shampoo I use and how I deal with, with um, mildew and mold and stuff like that and I kind of wanted to make a video about this anyways so I figured since I got that question that I'd just kind of answer the question in this video. First of all, to wash your hair with dreads, you don't need any kind of special shampoo regardless of what they tell you um, at like Dreadhead HQ and Naughty Boy and all that. You don't need those shampoos. You can use any shampoo you want. Um, I would recommend using something with like like anti-residue, like residue-free um, or unscented kind of stuff because the more like scent that's in the shampoo and the more commercial products you use, the more residue that's going to be in it, um, which means it's going to build up in your hair after a while, um, which if you have normal hair, it doesn't really affect it that much. Um, but with dreadlocks, you know, you don't want residue building up in your dreads. The shampoo I use is just this bottle, this baby. Um, it's just Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. Simple. There's no scent to it. Um, well, I mean, it has a smell, but it's not, you know, a fragrance. It's just what the shampoo smells like, but it's not anything pretty or anything like that. Um, this shampoo isn't, like, if you had not dreads. <laughs> if you have regular hair, this shampoo is only meant to be used like once a week um, to get rid of the residue buildup that, that your regular shampoo would give you. So it's not meant to be used as an everyday shampoo. Um, but since I have dreads, I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it about once every four days. So I just use this and it's good. It takes out any residue that's in my hair because it's anti-residue. So that's shampoo-wise. You don't need to use a specific brand, you know, the specific type of shampoo. Just anything that's like anti-residue or like, you know, stuff like that that doesn't have very much ingredients in it. Like, simple stuff um, is good for dreads. Moving on to how I actually do wash my hair. It's a pretty simple process, honestly. Um, you obviously wet your hair, make sure it's completely damp, you know, everywhere. It takes a good soaking, usually. Um, and then I put, like, a bunch of shampoo in my, the palm of my hand. I don't squirt it directly onto my head. Um, and then I just, I finger, you know, a little bit and put it and work it in the scalp. I start from the front and I hold the shampoo there and I, you know, get everywhere in the front and then I take a little bit more and then I do like the middle top of my head and, you know, slowly and then with the rest of it I flip my head over and I take the rest and I just like put it all in the back underneath. Um, and then once you're sure that your entire scalp is covered with shampoo, you know, you just want to like massage it and make sure you get everywhere on your scalp, really massage it. And then after I've massaged it into my scalp, I generally flip my head forward again and just kind of like squeeze it through my dreads and my beat just fell off. Yeah, I just kind of like squeeze it through my dreads, you know. Um, the shafts of your dreads really don't need to be like washed very much unless, you know, you've like dyed your hair or something like that. But just on an everyday basis, like when you wash your hair, you really don't need to shamp to focus on this part of your dreads. I usually just do a quick squeezing through and that's it. You mostly focus on your scalp. When you rinse it out, the best way to like make sure that you don't get mold or mildew or a gross smell, anything like that, is to really rinse your hair. Like make sure all the soap is out of your dreads. And I generally do that by like standing under the shower like really, you know, with the water running and then scrubbing and scrubbing. I lift my hair, let the water go on the back of my neck and I scrub there. And then once that's all done, I like go like this and I stand with, and I just wet my dreads themselves and I'll squeeze and let the water run through them and squeeze and squeeze. And it's kind of like a long process Especially the older your dreadlocks get, the longer the process to wash them because the tighter they are, so the harder it is to get things in and out of them. Um, but if you just make sure to really, really rinse your hair, you're not going to get mold or anything like that. I've had my dreads for, you know, almost 15 months, 
and I have not experienced mold or anything like that. The way that mildew, like, the smell of it would start is if you don't let your dreads fully dry, you know, like, Dreadlocks take a long time to dry, and if you wash your hair, like, say, at nighttime, and then you don't wait for them to fully dry, and then you put, like, your hair in a ponytail and go to sleep, and they're still, like, wet in the morning, and if you keep them in that ponytail all day, and, like, you don't let them dry, then they're going to start smelling bad, because they're going to mildew. Um, so you just got to make sure that you fully dry your hair. You just fully let it air dry or whatever. That's pretty much all I have to say on washing hair, on washing dreadlocks. Uh, I don't use conditioner ever. <laughs> I don't even use conditioner on this part of my hair. Um, you can use conditioner with dreadlocks, but I wouldn't recommend using it every time you wash your hair because that's just going to stunt the growth of your dreads. It's just going to stop it, them from tangling, from knotting up the maturation pro process. But if you feel like your hair is dry, then, you know, you can condition your dreads, like, once every second month or something like that, you know, just to give it a good conditioning. I don't really do that, but I did when I was bleaching them, so, yeah. And other than that, dyeing your dreadlocks, if anyone has any questions about those, it's really not that hard. I don't really want to get into it, but if you are curious, I can make a separate video. Um, but this was mostly just focused on washing your dreadlocks, so I hope this helped the person with that question. And anyone else who was curious or had any questions, I hope I answered them. If, it, if you have any further questions, um, feel free to leave a comment, and I will answer it. Either I'll answer it in a video, or I'll reply back, depending on how, you know, thorough my reply has to be, depending on what your question is. Um, chances are, though, I will answer back. The only time I can't, you know, sometimes I'll, like, see the notification that I got a comment while I'm at school, and I'm just on my phone, and then I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll respond to that tonight, and then I completely forget that night. So sometimes it takes me a few days to answer back, but it's not because I'm ignoring you, it's really just because I forget. I love you guys. I would never intentionally ignore you. Thanks for watching, and my kitty just hopped up. Oof. Say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.